Hello. So after our successful test drive, time to get back to work a little bit, trying to get ready to go into the second test drive. And at this point, I think we should start looking at some of the strengths and some of the weaknesses. One of the things that I had issue with is when we hung the power strip over the platform. So this is obviously a pinch point right here. And I think what we should do is drill a hole somewhere right about there to tuck the power line right through the platform. Another issue is mounting the antennas. So there's a couple ways to go about doing this. One idea is to not use these antennas at all and use laptop type of antennas. Though they're kind of square um, foil based antennas. So I ordered a pair of those. I'm gonna see what the range is like. If I can use those actually, then I can just drill a hole right near here and basically mount all the antennas underneath the platform. So wouldn't even have to mount those on the top side here. On the back side, we have the same pinch point problem, but most of the time we go in reverse and there really isn't any issues with crushing these two or it won't short out anything I don't think. Uh, the other thing is the bumper for the actual Create sticks out about another half inch further than this so if, it, if the base hits then that's not an issue. The cords will just come up against this. If we hit something higher, then that will be a problem, but hopefully we're not navigating backwards and hitting anything. We'll have to think about that. The other issue that we have is this. There's a caster on the front of the Create. Let's see if you can see that. Which helps it squirt around here. But on the back there is not one. So what happens is when you press down on the back or it's going backwards, there's no caster and you tend to get a swabble. So I ordered a caster to put on the back here. So let's do a quick tear down. Not surprisingly, this is about almost the opposite of putting it together. As I said, you should expect to put it together and take it apart several times when you're first building your robot. Plug these wires. The thing we talked about is how we should actually shape the platform. So if you look back at the TurtleBot, the TurtleBot 2s actually turned this into a hexagon that are within the confines of the create base. So basically it's a square cut on each side. The original TurtleBots used a circular disc as their platforms. Let me take this off.
So what I chose was to have some circular ABS platforms made up. So they're about 12 and a half inches wide. So you can see this gives it a pretty much more polished appearance. So this is just a matter of relaying everything out. Or if I get lucky, I'll be able to just transfer the holes and doing a rebuild with the circulars. This is quarter inch ABS. Probably should run a round over bit over the edges at some point. Mm -hmm. 